In the late 1780s, people were still rocking the powdered waves in Sunday's best every day. But more importantly, the Articles of Confederation had been thrown out, and the country was in dispute over the newly written Constitution. You see, it did not go into effect directly after the Constitutional Convention, but must first be ratified by at least 9 of the 13 states. Now, not everyone was for the Constitution, and feuds were building in America. So two major groups began to form, Federalists and Anti-Federalists. Federalists were supporters of the U.S. Constitution, and Anti-Federalists felt the new government was an enemy of freedom of the individual and wanted protected powers, aka the Bill of Rights. In order to spread Federalist ideas, essays were published into New York newspapers defending the Constitution. A total of 85 of these essays were published and are known as the Federalist Papers. The essays were written by three men, James Madison, Alexander Hamilton, and John Jay. The papers were the undisputed subjects of discussion of the time. People would have conversations during dinner and at parties about the documents. Now the most important Federalist paper was Federalist 10. The key idea in this document is about factions. Factions, factions, factions. Factions are groups such as parties or interest groups. Factions are all around us. In our country, there are two major political parties, the Democratic and Republican Party. Much more interest groups exist today, such as the NRA, AARP, NAACP, and NCLU. More practically, the National Football League consists of 32 NFL teams. The reason factions are so debated is because each political party or interest group has their own set of beliefs, desires, and varying levels of influence. What the NRA wants is not necessarily what the NAACP wants, or the influence of the AARP might be greater than a less organized group. One group might become so powerful that they will have full control of the government. James Madison said, Liberty is to factions what air is to fire, meaning in order for our government to run, factions are crucial. We need people persuading the government to clean the air or protect the elderly in order for our country to be successful. The more factions there are, the more likely one group does not gain absolute power. Ambition must be made to counteract ambition. Back to the football example, the New England Patriots won three Super Bowls in four years. From the outside looking in, it seems as if no other team could compete against them. But the New York Giants and dumb-faced Eli Manning beat them twice in their next two Super Bowl appearances. Ambition cancels ambition. Factions cancel factions. One group will never have complete control. However, there are some teams that this does not apply to. Madison plays plan to stop tyranny was a system of checks and balances, separation of powers, and keep most of the government away from the majority. This does not apply to the Cowboys. Whether you like them or not, factions are an important part of our government, and as long as we live in a democratic country, and a divided one at that, fractions are here to stay.